I want to speak to you and encourage you to keep on keeping on. I want to encourage you to keep on praying, keep on praising God, keep on standing on His Word, keep on fighting against sin. I believe that every once in a while we need to hear encouraging words, uplifting and pleasant words that really minister to our hearts. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 16 verse 24, gracious words are like a honeycomb, sweetness to the soul and health to the body. And so saints, I don't know what your situation looks like, but I do know that we serve a living God, a mighty God who is well able to do exceedingly above all that you could ever ask or think. So keep on keep it on. Keep on loving Him and depending on Him. Keep on trusting Him and waiting on Him. Keep fighting. Keep fighting the good fight of faith. Keep running the good race. Mark 11 verse 22, the Bible simply says, Have faith in God, Jesus answered. Now I am saying those same four words to you today. Have faith in God. Have faith in the one who is, who was, and who will forever be. Without faith, the Bible tells us that there is no pleasing God if you don't have faith. But if you have faith, even the smallest fragment of faith, the Bible says in Matthew 17 verse 20, because of your little faith, For truly, I say to you, if you have faith like a grain of mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible for you. Faith like a grain of mustard seed, a grain. So, beloved, I want to stand with you today and tell you to keep the faith. Whether or not you're still waiting for your prayer request to be answered, keep the faith. If the people who are closest to you have left you feeling abandoned and alone, keep the faith. Keep the faith that Jesus Christ will take the pain away. 